Hi guys, it's Unders. Today we're going to do a review of the Masterclass from Hans Zimmer. Now, oh, these videos are helpful for you. Please pop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, comment down below. I do my best to get in contact with all you guys and reply to those comments. So, Essentially what we're going to look at is the Hans Zimmer Masterclass which is taught from uh, the masterclass.com website. I will link the course down below if it's something you've not heard about. Uh, towards the end of 2016 it was advertised really heavily and I'm a huge fan of Hans Zimmer's music so I bought into it and I've gone through the, the classes and course and for the most part I really enjoyed it. But just what I'll say if you are looking for the technical aspect of how Hans records, designs, sound, goes into the mixing process and recording processes, that is not really part of the masterclass. So Hans goes very much in depth about how he comes to a concept and how he creates the music he's going for with the director. And it's a lot of how to liaise and interact with people. So that's a huge part of the industry. You're making music for someone else's vision. And Hans gives you a, a really deep insight as to how he gets his mindset into that and how you can interact with certain things. So he goes very, very much in depth with music being a conversation. So sets of notes being questions and answers and responses. And you tell the story with music and sound. What's really nice in the course, there'll be some good examples where Hans will explain his thought process, what he's done, how he's created certain things, and then you'll be able to see the clip that he was particularly talking about. It also lets you see inside some of the projects, but not necessarily how they were created. For example, he did the music for Sherlock, for which you're able to see the huge, huge session files for that. and have a look at how they're laid out and the concepts for them and the way that he initially works is to sketch out a theme for the music so he will just write and record and write and record and write and record and build up a huge library of one particular thing and then when he gets the chance to start putting that to video he'll find the key phrases and the, the bits that he's written. Maybe it's just three notes for a character, but that then phrase becomes that character throughout the course of the film. And he would have just written that on the fly, just getting concepts and ideas together. There's another really great section about sampling and that he will take a particular person he knows and record them and build a sample library of them playing the music in this case he's talking about a cellist and that he builds that into his own sampler so that he can particularly grab that cellist and play out their particular style and their particular parts for a piece of music so he, he can take as long as he needs to get that sound and develop exactly what they want for when they come to the final recording at the end a big part of his process is working all from the piano in his lab He'll build up a big library of sounds that he hears for the film. Whether that's creating really new and interesting things such as uh, playing traditional strike drums that you would expect to hear with brushes on the side and really weird things to create new sounds and new textures that haven't necessarily been heard before. And once he's created all of those and captured all of those sounds, he'll start putting them into music. <coughs> And once he's built up a nice big sample library, he'll get everything together as it wants to sound or as close as possible. And then right at the end, the process will be hire out the orchestra and bring everyone in together. This is the music we're going to record. And he'll then probably get that same cellist back in to record that section that he's created with them. There's a fantastic part where he talks about torturing. Yes, torturing his players in getting I think the example was from Batman yes it would have been Batman Dark Knight where the the Joker theme which was not allowed to win an award because it was actually one singular note 
um, was the slowest he could get someone to play on a cello where they, the note was taking nearly a minute to play through and then to bring the bow back through. It's a really interesting concept of that one note being played as slowly as possible and that you're you're getting someone who's used to playing a classical instrument and telling them to quite frankly abuse it and that you need to be able to explain your vision and then your vision needs to be explained to the director and you need to justify all these things that's what a huge part of the course is is how to liaise and get your ideas across rather than the technical aspect of making this type of music but there's a great section about hands telling you how to take feedback so when you are shown to a test audience or the director a cast and crew and how to implement the feedback they're giving you um because obviously you you've taken your vision and your idea you don't necessarily want to just dissect that and crush it and then have someone else give you all these different feedback options that they're quite often going to conflict because different people uh, annotate things in different ways so you, it's how to take all of that information and cherry pick out the bits that are good that you agree with that are going to help develop the sound but also placate to the needs of everyone else who's viewing and listening to that project and get it all to work together then it also goes on to being one of the big tests of actually giving the music out to an orchestra and having them play it and understand it and know that you have scored everything correctly and you've you've not exceeded the range for the violins or that you've not done notes that are impossibly fast to play on an actual oboe when you've been able to play it on the keyboard and you're not limited to the restrictions of the natural instrument versus the virtual world. So I suppose my overall review of the course, I went into it hoping for a lot more of the technical aspects, um, like going into the recording side of things, how Hans uh, integrates a lot of synthesizers, which he does cover, but in a very small section. And it is quite literally him taking uh, his version of Yuhi Zebra 2 and tweaking and playing around with it and just saying you need to learn your instrument um, rather than this is why I was doing this sort of sound and why I go down this route and this is how I do it but overall the course gives you a really great uh, understanding of how to work with other artists which is a huge part of everything you do as a musician anyway even as a solo artist you're probably going to have to work with vocalists you may get session musicians and things like that and having the understanding that Hans brings into working with huge huge volumes of people whether that's audiences test audiences cast and actors directors other sound engineers and recorders session musicians whole orchestras it's a really great concept if you can just take little nuggets of information from that and it's something that you need to work on it's a great course for that overall i think it's a really good course i'm a big fan of Hans zimmer so having the ability just to look into his world a little bit for me is worth going through the course I will probably view through it again because there will be little things that I missed and little tips and ideas and concepts because he gives you a huge amount of information because he has a huge huge experience in doing this he's done more soundtracks than literally anyone else he produces a vast amount of music at a fantastic rate and is continuously winning awards if you want to have a look at the course I'll pop a link down below. It's essentially masterclass.com and it's the Hans Zimmer course. But if you want to have a look, uh, hit the link down below. I hope the review has been helpful for you and giving you an idea of more what to expect when you go and take the course. And I shall see you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.